In this video, we're going to take a look at radians. So you should be familiar with the concept of using degrees to measure the size of an angle. And for this video, we're going to introduce another way of measuring angles, and that's by using radians. So a radian is the angle that's subtended at the centre of a circle, with an arc that's the same length as the radius of the circle. And we can see that here on this diagram. So notice here, I've got my centre, I've got this radius here which has a length of r, same again here for this radius, that has a length of r, and then we've got this arc here which has a length of r. So what that means then, is this angle here represents one radian. I've got one radian, and one radian is equal to 180 divided by pi. So 180 divided by pi, and in this case then, this would be approximately 57.3 degrees there. Okay. So in terms of the notation here to represent radians, so for example, let's say we want to represent one radian here, and the way we do that is we'd write one with this power here of c. Okay. And this represents one radian. So like we just said here, one radian is approximately 57.3 degrees. That's approximately 57.3 degrees there. Okay. The other way that we can represent radians, so again, one radian here, we can write that as 1 followed by rad. So using rad here also represents radians. So 1 rad, 1 radian, is approximately 57.3 degrees there. Okay. So... You also need to be able to convert between radians and degrees, and it's helpful to remember a key starting point. Now, this is almost kind of like preferential and what you prefer. I prefer to remember 360 degrees, but some people do prefer to remember 180 degrees. What I'd say is just remember one of those, and it'll make your life a lot easier. So if I start here with 360 degrees, so 360 degrees, this is equal here to 2 pi radians. So 2 pi rad there. So 2 pi radians is 360 degrees. So from here then, for example, if I want 180 degrees in terms of radians, I just divide both sides here by 2. That would give me 180 degrees. And then if I divide 2 pi here by 2, we simply get pi radians. And like you can see from here now, if you remember either of these, it just makes calculating um, degrees to radians quite straightforward. So in that case then, if I want 9 degrees now, again, we just divide by 2 here. That would give me 9 degrees, and that would be equal to pi over 2, because again, we just divide by 2 here. That would be pi over 2 radians there. So for example, if I want 30 degrees here, we'd now divide by 3. If I divide by 3 here, that would give me 30 degrees, and that would be equal to pi over 6, because again, we just divide the other side here by 3. So pi over 6 radians there, and again, just dividing the other side by 3 there. So the way that we actually convert here, if I give you the formula for converting them, so converting... So, for example, let's say we want to go from radians to degrees to begin with. So, for radians to degrees, so let's just start off here by picking, for example, 2 pi radians. Okay, so 2 pi radians, I'll just write this as 2 pi without the units here. Then, if I want to convert this to degrees here, what I do is I times this here by 180 over pi. Okay. So 2 pi times 108 over pi, well that would simply give me 360 pi over pi. We get 360 pi over pi there. Obviously now the pi's will cancel here and we simply get left with 360. Okay. And this 360 here represents the degrees. Okay. So that's 360 degrees there. Well you can see just multiply it by 108 over pi. So multiply, I'll just write times by 180 over pi. 
And then for converting from degrees to radians, or from degrees to radians here. What we do now is we times by pi over 180. So again, let's just pick a starting point here. Let's say we've got 60 degrees. I've got 60 degrees here, and I want to convert this to radians. What I do here is I times this by pi over 180. So if I just get rid of the units here, I've got 60 times pi over 180. And what this would give me here is 60 pi over 180. So 60 pi over 180. And then if I just divide top and bottom here by 60 and just simplify, we get pi over 3. Okay, so we get pi over 3 radians there. Okay. Now you can see the process then for converting from degrees to radians and radians to degrees. It's quite straightforward if you just remember these two key facts. Okay. But there we have it. So that's everything that we need there for radians. We're not going to take a look at any kind of practice questions here, um, you know, for an introduction to radians. Um, there's nothing really to kind of take a look at here to get us started. Um, but we'll certainly take a look at some more questions in the next um, couple of videos that do involve radians. Okay. So that being the end of this video on radians, in the next video, we're going to take a look at arc length.